Communication is the process of exchanging information and ideas through different modes. Human communication does not only refer to the exchange of words, but also to the interaction between two or more persons. This involves a sender of the message and a receiver who interprets the message. In order for communication to take place, two main actors work together. They are called the sender and the receiver. Being able to send the message to a receiver does not guarantee a successful communication process. Effective communication takes place when the sender receives a feedback or response that he initially wanted the receiver to have. There are many communication models. For this lesson, we will be getting an idea from Shannon and Weaver's model of communication. Through understanding the components of the communication process, workers can know what area to improve on and contribute to successful and effective communication flow in the workplace. Like any other process, the communication process also has parts or elements, namely Source, one who sends or delivers a message one who initiates the communication process. The source can also be called as the sender or author. The source plays a crucial role in the process because if the source failed to deliver the message properly, then the entire communication process may fail. Message transformed thoughts into a form such as voice, audio, texts, and signals that the source sends to the receiver. It is the information that the source wants to transmit. Channel, type of medium used to send messages between the source and the receiver. Receiver, one who receives the message. The communication process is considered successful when the receiver responds the way the source intended. Like the source, a receiver's role is vital in the communication process. He or she must also be active and intentional in receiving messages. In that way, the receiver can respond the correct way. However, the communication process does not end there. The effect of the message and the feedback of the receiver should also be noted in order to know the result of the communication process. Effect. Response of the receiver after getting the message from the source. Feedback. An important product of the communication process. It tells the source how effective the selected message and channel are upon the receiver. Furthermore, it allows the source to adjust the communication process so that it is more effective. Feedback confirms whether there is mutual understanding between the source and the receiver. Without it, the source would not know if understanding took place. The communication process is not always ideal. Sometimes, interference can also occur when the source sends a message. This is called noise. Noise are disruptions in the communication process. In the workplace, noise can be common, especially when unfamiliar people communicate with each other. Humans communicate through different modes. It is impossible to communicate with only one mode in your entire life. Communication modes are defined as the ways by which communication can be expressed. It can be through verbal communication, nonverbal communication, and written communication. Verbal communication refers to the mode of communication that involves speaking. It occurs when you speak or when you use words. This includes face-to-face -face communication and communicating through a medium such as telephone, cell phone, video calls, or conference calls. Nonverbal communication refers to non-speech type of communication. It is any type of communication that does not include spoken word. It can refer to the way we say the words, surroundings that may affect communication, objects, patterns, and more. 
Remaining in silence or not responding at all is also a form of nonverbal communication. So when it is quiet, it does not necessarily mean that communication is not taking place. Silence can also mean something. Written communication refers to communicating through writing, letters, emails, text messages, writing memorandum, etc. Everything you do results from communication. However, people are not necessarily born with exceptional communication skills. Like any other ability, communication is learned and improved through repeated practice. Therefore, to communicate effectively, there are some skills that you need to learn and hone. Listening, referred to as an active, complex processes that include being mindful, physically receiving messages, selecting and organizing information, interpreting, responding, and remembering. Speaking. Speaking happens when you make vocal sounds. It can also mean to talk, converse, express one's thoughts through verbal language. Critical thinking. The ability to think clearly and make informed decisions. It needs to execute reflective and independent thinking. Empathetic skills. Empathy involves a deep sensitivity to recall, relieve, and tap on the feelings and experiences of others.